Well, this is the girls in their brand new cage. They're very excited. They've just stopped for a little rest and a snack. But um, I think they're very happy. Nice cage, isn't it, girls? When we first saw the, the black base, I wasn't over keen. But having seen it all fitted together with the bright shelves in, I, I'm very pleased. It's quite colourful and stylish. So I'm quite happy with the cage now. Um, there is only one sort sort of little criticism and that's the there's only one door and they could have made that door bigger so I'll just show you it opens up here best clip ever that goes right across the <laughs> right across the top of the bars I'm just going to do that up because I think the little Maggie's going to try and slip out while I'm here um, so that goes right across the top of the bars so it's a very safe door catch it's not going to get opened being so good have a little sweetie here we go darling here we go little sweetie for being so good first cheerio that you've had the whole cheerio they've only had a little bit of cheerio before that food bowl is going to get moved in a minute um, it's just going to be washed out and moved because I don't want anyone to do exactly that and fall into it but I so say we are quite happy with this um, it, bearing in mind it is not a huge cage so um, it is a medium sized cage but we wanted it to replace the Furplus Furret and it is a similar size so it's going to do the job it is suitable for two to three female rats or two male rats but bearing in mind it's not huge, it's medium sized your rats will need plenty of time outside the cage we'll make sure our girls have at least twice the recommended one hour um, and they'll be out several times a day which is going to be really nice for them but see they're very excited already it's a lovely cage isn't it girls hey lovely cage all exciting <laughs> um, the other thing that we've done um, oh they love the hanging tunnel as well you wouldn't think they'd like things that moved but they really do like the hanging tunnel there uh, we have wood chews attached to the actual house the ones that you attach with washers various places but we don't have anything attached actually to the actual bars because when Ellie was little she went and got her leg caught in a hook of a, a little ladder that was attached to the bars lucky we were home and um, you know if we hadn't been home to help her she might have been either hanging there or got her leg uh, broken so we've replaced our hooks with um, our hammock clips with the rat warehouse safe clips there and we we don't give them actual toys hanging on the sides of the cage until they're a little bit bigger but they have plenty of wooden toys underneath to chew they have their activity toys in the spare cage as well so in here we just have tunnels and hammocks um, <laughs> they're really excited really excited um, and the other thing that we do when we first move the rats in is before we move them in we look at any drops so we have these double layers of fleece at various places to catch the rats hello gorgeous and a little tube there is also acts as a little safeguard hello really enjoying this aren't you well where'd your head gone with <laughs> darting about there um yes they're distracting me now they're distracting me so to make the help the girls to settle we will get some of their fresh droppings from that other cage and put them in the toilet corner in here and their sleeping hammock at the back over there the pink and blue one that's the ones the girls slept in last night so equally um, it smells of the rats so that's nice for them it smells like home helps them to settle there she goes love climbing really nice to climb up here we've got two water bottles always have two water bottles around the sides there try and get the wire roughly around the middle of the water bottle so it makes it a little bit more stable and we like to hook one of the wires around the vertical um, bars as well because that just gives it a bit more stability but when you put your rats into their new house um, don't uh, do it on a day when you're just about to go out or just before you go to bed do it when you can actually observe your rats see how they're managing see if you've missed any danger areas and um, I'm just trying to see where she's gone down the back there yeah we can't quite see you properly 
but just have a look and, and watch them for a couple of hours and just make sure two things one they're settling and they don't seem too stressed but say if you move some of their drop-ins and have some bedding or their hammock that smells of them they shouldn't feel stressed at all they're more likely to be really excited and running around Dawn has moved house before she's gone into the bed and gone to sleep and um, you know if the girls get too much for her um, she can come out and have a sleep in the spare cage or the girls can go into the spare cage for playtime. I think they're starting to settle down. I think we've worn them out. Hello, there's a little nose there. Who is that? Hello. Do you like your new house? I think you do. It's super, isn't it? Is that Sasha? I think it's Sasha. Hard to see. Yes, Sasha. Is that good? Is that your new house? So that's my little girlies enjoying their new house and overall it is a very nice house. Sorry that was Beth. You all look so similar from the France. Well, apart from Maggie with her Dumbo ears of course. But that's, that's the house. We've done our best we can to make it safe and we will change it and adapt it as uh, time goes on and the girls get bigger.